Rosario uh, has turned into a pumpkin. It's not even midnight, but uh, she's around so many, <laughs> she's turned into one. That's variety. Oh, I love it. Well, you know, Halloween's not that far away. I'll no. be a witch. Be oh, well, no, that's always. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we are uh, live at La Villa Orchard. It's hard to believe the pumpkin land is already up and running, but we only have one more week left of summer, as we told you. And Farmer Norm is here. I can't believe how many pumpkins you have. Yeah, the pumpkin crop is really early with this hot summer. The it was good for the pumpkins. It was great for the pumpkins. There was uh, almost no rain, so there's very little disease. They look really hard, and the color is fantastic. They do look great. And, of course, we have all the traditional stuff that the kids love to see, all of your fairy tale uh, characters. We've got the biggest pump, uh, the, uh, what is it, what's scarecrow. it called? The biggest scarecrow you ever saw. Uh, it just means fall to me when I see all this. Fall's here. The forecast is going our way. It's going to be in the 50s the next few nights and 70s in the day, so we're really excited to get the people out for their hayride. So that's the traditional, but there's something new at Lynn Villa. Over to the left there, Tommy. Look at this huge greenhouse that's almost completed. How big is that thing? Well, we've been working all summer. It's 15,000 square foot. It's uh, going to give us more business in the winter, mm -hmm. so you can come in there and nice get and it. heated in there. It's going to be heated all winter long. We're going to have birthday parties now in November. Um, nice. There's going to be plenty of decorations and wreaths and roping and uh, poinsettias for Christmas time, and we'll have a big grand spectacular opening in the spring. All right, let's walk down to what's fun and uh, fun to eat, of course, in the fall. Now we still have peaches, right, left over from summer. Yeah, one more week of peach peaches. Okay, you can and still come and pick your own. Yes, yes, we can. And okay. Uh, apples is really exciting this year. It's a really, really big apple crop. And oh, the, with and the cold nights, the colors will be great. All right, this is, you are telling me, a new variety of apple. How gorgeous is that? What's it called? Honeycrisp. It's uh, been around for about 10 years, but it's been in real short supply because it is the best taste in apple. It tastes like Honey apple cream. cider uh, oh my in an apple. And what else do we have with apples in it? Like That looks like apple pie. We always have our <laughs> apple pie. We have our fresh apple cider, mm. um, apple butter. We always have the candy apple. Apples are real popular with the kids, and uh, there's, uh, you know, apples is the time apple, of year apple, for September, apples. October. All right. Now, I had a question for you earlier, and I want you to pass this along to our viewers because this is a hardy mum. Do you see this right here? I love the mums. They're gorgeous. It says fall to me. I buy the mums. I can never make them last till the next year. They are supposed to come back year after year, right? It's important that you buy them from a reputable nursery. I mean, we, we only sell hardy mums here. That'll, hardy mums. You know, some mums will not survive in this region. Um, the bigger problem is people put them on their porch and let them dry out, or they let them sit into the frosty weather, and the roots are sensitive to cold temperatures. Oh. So if you can plant them around your house, it's plant the best them. thing. As soon as, as, soon you, as, get as you get them. Okay. And then you have to trim them in the summertime. If you want them nice and full in the next fall, uh -huh. once they start getting a little leggy, you want to cut them right to this height. Don't want a leggy mum. And then it'll okay. branch out again, then it'll grow again, then cut it right back. And then around the end of August, it'll start budding up, and it'll be beautiful Maybe for your I landscape. We have a mum that lasts. This would be very exciting for me, because it's very sad when a mum dies. <laughs> <laughs> There's right. a pun in there. You want to try this? Now, can you do this for me? We've got, sure. we've got the apple core, okay, right here. And what, I want to try this new variety of apple. It's called... Honey crisp. Honey crisp. And it's like cider in an apple. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so uh, all kinds of varieties. This is, of course, one of about a bazillion that you sell here, right? Yeah, we sell 35 different varieties of apples, and uh, this is probably our, our most sought-after variety. That and we have so a, a huge good. crop this year, and we'll have good supply all, all through at least early October. All right, so autumn is officially just a week away, but it's already starting here at Lynn Villa, and you have a big art and music festival this weekend. This weekend, yep, the Arts and Crafts Festival always brings a big crowd and gives you a chance to... Uh Start some early Christmas shopping. And you know, guys, they love me because the forecast is so good for this weekend. So we will have much more fun and much more good advice for you about pumpkin picking, how to pick the right pumpkin here at Lynn Villa. It's all coming up. All right. Thank you, Sue. Uh, thank you, Sue.